What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and welcome to another installment in my Celebrating Disney series where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, anime, and their live action regardless of quality under the main Disney banner. Got an animated review this week and in today's video I'll be reviewing the 2002 direct-to-video sequel Tarzan and Jane. With the first anniversary of her wedding to Tarzan, Jane ponders how to make it the perfect English celebration. So Tarzan and Jane was released in 2002 and it was the direct-to-video sequel to Disney's 1999 smash Tarzan, one of my favorite animated Disney films of all time. I'm pretty sure it's in my top 10 animated Disney film that they've ever made. And this movie kind of served as like the pilot of the Tarzan TV series that came out around the same time as Tarzan and Jane. And in fact, uh, there's actually, that, is that, they actually animated three episodes of the TV series and cobbled them together into this movie. And the framing device is Jane wondering what to do for her and Tarzan's first year anniversary as a couple. And... I saw this when it came out. I don't remember it making that big a pr big an impression on me. Although, I do remember watching the Tarzan TV series, uh, reruns of it on the now defunct Toon Disney channel. Comment down below if you guys remember Toon Disney. That channel was awesome back in the day. I remember seeing that cartoon as a kid, and I remember it being fine for what it is. Obviously not as awesome as the movie, but the, the, the Tarzan show was still fun, at least... Back at, at that age when I was like, I don't know, seven or eight years old when that show came out. Um, this movie, I hardly remembered it, even though I remember watching it. And it's it's not a good movie. The problem is that it just feels like a cheap plug into the TV series. And making this as your sequel movie, to me that's disgraceful. I mean, you could have done so many ideas for a uh, follow-up to Tarzan, make this big action-packed sequel, and your main focus of the movie is Jane not knowing what to do for her and Tarzan's anniversary. That's something out of a sitcom. That is a very bad idea for a sequel, and it's just an absolute waste of time. And most of the movie comprises of these episodes straight out of the Tarzan TV series used to frame around the main story of the movie. There is no stakes in this movie because it feels like you're watching a drawn out sitcom with three random episodes in the middle of it. And these episodes have no connection to the main plot of the story. Characters claim they have a reason to be there like, oh, we're telling this story because it's not a good idea for Tarzan to dance. And we're going to tell this story because it's not a, a good idea for Tarzan to get a diamond and stuff like that. And I'm like, you're stretching this too thin, movie. The individual episodes themselves, I think as episodes of the Tarzan series, they're fine. They're nothing amazing or groundbreaking or anything like that. Uh, I do distinctly remember some of the episodes just from uh re-watching it again uh the one i think the one that i distinctly remembered the most is the segment where jane's friends uh come to visit and her friends and jane clash about you know whether jane has changed or not is she still the same girl that she was when she was in london and is uh has she lost her civilized proper english girl notion now that she's in the jungle with tarzan i mean as a, a standalone episode the episode's fine but again with these with these episodes i'm like this doesn't work as the sequel to tarzan because you're just shamelessly plugging in the tarzan tv series the animation i mean the animation is fine for a tv series uh, the animation, I was kind of impressed that uh, they actually put a little bit of effort in some of the action sequences in some of the episodes, but the animation in between the episodes during like the filler like framing device of the sequel 
that animation was cheap and uninspiring. Like, some of these characters just look off. And the sequences outside of the Tarzan episode, that must have been when Disney ran out of budget and ran out of money, and they just uh, lazily drew characters together and made it look as cheap as possible. Uh, what also doesn't help is... None of the voice actors in the original Tarzan reprised their roles. I think they must not have wanted to do the Tarzan TV series. And so the actors from the Tarzan TV series did the voices in this sequel movie. And a good chunk of the voices don't even mesh with the original characters, especially Turk. Turk was voiced by Rosie O'Donnell in the uh, animated movie, and this voice actress sounds nothing like Rosie O'Donnell and shockingly she's more annoying in this movie than when Rosie O'Donnell played her which is quite an absolute shock in itself I'm not a big fan of a lot of the replacement voices in Tarzan and Jane some of them are okay like the actress who plays Jane was close to matching what Minnie Driver did in the original film but Aside from that, uh, the voice acting isn't really that memorable or anything. The individual episodes are fine on paper. Uh, the one with Jane's friends, there's this other one involving you know, diamond smuggling in a volcano, and another one involving Jane's former friend who like has a crush on her, who's like a double agent. That one was absolutely stupid, by the way. That one was probably my least favorite of the three because it sets up this like cringing love triangle with the other guy and Tarzan who have the hots for Jane and there's a lot of misunderstandings and double crosses I'm like that one was pretty bad the other two were fine but nothing amazing or anything like that overall Tarzan and Jane as a sequel to Tarzan is pretty bad the individual episodes as episodes of the TV series I think they're okay but when you're making this and promoting this as the sequel to Tarzan, it does not work. The framing device is bottom of the barrel, lazy and cringy, and feels like it belongs in a sitcom instead of a Tarzan sequel. I don't like how they present the individual segments, uh, the individual episodes of the series as a cheap plug-in. The animation is uninspiring, especially during the framing device part of the movie. The voice acting isn't all there. This is definitely one of the weaker direct video Disney sequels. I don't think it's as insultingly bad as Bill's Magical World, which had a similar problem as Tarzan and Jane. But Bill's Magical World is still worse because it took characters that I loved in the original movie and made them unlikable. Tarzan and Jane, at least, the characters are still the characters I like. But the movie's just not an interesting or memorable experience. Uh, and it's one of the more boring direct-to-video Disney sequels in their infamous run of cheap, cool movies. I'm not a fan of Tarzan and Jane, and I'm going to give the film a 1 out of 5 stars. And on the 100-point scale, it's getting a 17 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Tarzan and Jane as part of my Celebrating Disney series, where each week I review and celebrate all things Disney, animated or live action, regardless of quality, under the main Disney banner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Celebrating Disney playlist. Or you can check out all the celebrating Disney reviews I've done on the channel so far, whether my animated or live action reviews. If you're new to this series, each week I alternate between animated and live action reviews. I review the animated films in chronological order from the Disney animation stuff to the direct video sequels along with Pixar. My live action reviews I review in no particular order. The movies are freestyle, and I leave room for requests. If there's any live-action film or franchises you'd like me to tackle on the live-action side of things, feel free to share your requests in the comments below, or you can be on the lookout for any polls on my community tab, where you can help vote and select for future live-action reviews. Join me next week in my Celebrating Disney series and my next live-action review where I'll be reviewing the three-part docu-series on Disney Plus directed by Peter Jackson, and that is The Beatles Get Back. Be on the lookout for that video coming to the channel next week. But if you've seen Tarzan and Jane, let me know down in the comments below, would you follow the film? 
Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!